if you're driving, pull over. <laughs> we got a very, very interesting show here. 8 at 8, Shape 05. Street Sweeper Radio, K Slate, Drama King in the building. Kimmy J, my co host, is here. Mm-hmm. Okay? Now, I'm a power fan. And I'm honored to have five, not one, two, three, four, but five wow. dope mm, actors. Five. Wow. Dope actors in power on the show tonight. Shade 4 5 Street Sweeper Radio. Joseph Secure is in the building. Mm-hmm. He's been here before. <laughs> yes, sir. I guess we could call him the villain. Okay. That's not nice. uh, His character, <laughs> Tommy, is the villain. Let me get anti-hero. it right. Anti hero. All right. Yeah. We, 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 the we, antagonist. We're going to attack. We're going to build about that. Okay. <laughs> Joe Perino. Yes, sir. Plays Vincent. Uh, middle wage mob boss. Correct. Put it right there. Came across smooth in the beginning. Got a little violent near it. Right about now, you're kind of violent. You understand what I'm saying? I do what I have to. Playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> I do what I have to, to get what I need. Forget about it. Now, moving right along. I hope I get it right. It's okay. Mike Dupont. Very Dupont. good. Well done. For, that's it. Yeah. Wow. I was really. Nervous. He plays Jason, <laughs> the fucking plug. Yes. I'm trying to yeah. figure out who is the bigger plug. Was it you, Lobos, or Jimenez? Like I'm trying to figure that out. Maybe Tommy will let us know. Or Joseph, think, aka. He's dealing pills, right? He's 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 is the opioid crisis. Yeah. I say he's the biggest plug. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Word. Yeah. Now we take it. We got all of their op. You know what I'm saying? Well, first, let's go to Spanky. Let's skip past. Let's go to yeah. Spanky. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta skip past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah, because yeah, everybody's up, so we gotta skip past you. We got Spanky in the building. Right, right. You understand what I'm saying? Um, Omar Scroggins, right? Yeah. And um, you bring the gangster comedy to the show from Thanks. my aspect. Like you, you bring. You know, you got a little. You know, <laughs> Comedic swag to your to your game, but you you street right, about right. the shit, but you you understand? Yeah, it's always a little dude like that in the in the yeah. click, like and then them glasses, yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You they saying? Tom Ford's though, Tom Ford's them. Tom Ford's. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice, nice. All right. All right, now last but not least, Shane M. Johnson, Cooper Sacks, Cooper mm. Sacks, you are a motherfucker. Sexy, nah. Sexy motherfucker. Now, let me tell you what's so funny. I had sent a girlfriend of mine uh, the picture. Said, "Yo, everybody's coming through this and that." She was like, "Yo, I hate that motherfucker." <laughs> now, let me tell you what's the beauty about when somebody hates your character. That means you're doing a good fucking job. Oh, Thank yeah. you. Lord. You're Thank doing you. a real when people begin to hate you. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, just me knowing you, Joseph, it's hard to hate you. I think. The Holly situation had me a little angry at you because I'm like, come on, man, like don't You're let this, than that. this chick take you out to your fucking character. No. You got a law, and, and you're halfway there. Yeah. You went halfway there. You're with Lakeisha. You mm-hmm. understand what I'm saying? You, you was about to, you know. You was feeling some kind of way about her. Yeah, her. you was feeling a, a, a kind of way. But when you're doing the show, is it any any time like when you leave the show that you still have that kind of? Yeah, Mentality. I think that your 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 mind, your emotions, and your mind don't always have the greatest communication. I think if you're doing it right, you're actually living those emotions for mm-hmm. real. I'm not saying this stuff is real. I'm yeah, saying no, that no. the emotions, if you're doing it right, there is real love. There should be real hate. There should be all of that stuff. Now, the trick is, and the professional thing is, to separate those two when, it's, when it's, you're not on set, when you're not doing the show you know i know my wife wouldn't deal with it if i brought tommy home she's <laughs> rushing she might kill me while i'm sleeping <laughs> so it's you know you got to be you got to be aware to be respectful of people but at the same time i always said at the beginning i kept tommy as close as i needed him because nobody was messing with that guy yeah and i needed if i needed him close i had him close did everybody else could go fuck themselves Real that's talk. what i needed for this okay. and then it got less and less more of a light switch as it becomes ingrained into him and now that you know him because if i change tommy people are like oh tommy grew so much from season one to season six no I came through with that exact same guy because a really wise actor told me, if you change one bit, the audience is going to flip on you and they're not even going to know why. you got to come equipped on that day one. So you got to be that same guy on day one. No, so I you, tried you, to keep him, keep him 100. 
You foul. <laughs> you, you, done, you done killed your girlfriend You understand what I'm saying yeah, You done yeah. fucking killed Angela I was a little happy at first I'm getting a little a little sensitive When I keep seeing ghosts with her now And I'm like damn man he killed this nigga You understand <laughs> Shit, you're like, like, You understand But um Proctor Oh yeah. Damn, you 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 laid Proctor down. It's like it's like you you putting a lot of uh, work in. Proctor was yeah. Proctor was a little extreme. That whole shit. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm just happy Ghost doesn't have neighbors. Right. Right. None ever. Like, ever. He's got the They're whole like, floor. What? You know what? What is that? What does he have? Cats? <laughs> <laughs> that's How many that's rounds all like commotion. Did you shoot? And then then oh, that round had like 150. Then uh, what's the name? Benny. Dominic Lamar oh, Dozy, Benny. he's dope. He's a great on, actor. Bro. He's he, a good human. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, but damn, you killed him too. <laughs> well, I mean, listen. <laughs> at the end of the day, he, he killed himself. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, he okay. killed himself. He, he, came, oh, he, he walked himself he into came hell. Came in there with yeah. a knife, big bro. Like a knife. Yeah. Well, because he wanted yeah. to teach Tommy a lesson. Yeah, well, there, it had to be personal. But it was like the smallest <laughs> knife ever. Personal. Like, you know what I'm saying? That small? It's three and a half inches. It takes three inches to get through your chest plate into your heart. <laughs> right. I know, Mar, we all know but you like the Terminator oh, though on this hey, show. Come on, man. But he's like the Terminator on the show though. That's, like you just yeah, like a, a bl- like yeah. you, you really like everything. really killed Proctor. <laughs> like that's his cousin. He's supposed to come back with the knife. He's like, yeah, we're gonna take this out with a knife. Yeah. What about your? That fuck- was short sighted. <laughs> Joseph, aka Tommy, about your fucking dad. Oh, that was harsh. Come mm. on, man. That was Ghost. We can all blame Ghost for that manipulation. He was snitching, though. He was he snitching. Dad was snitching. Proctor was snitching. Yikes. Okay. Now, this one here got me kind of mad. And I think his character died too soon. But his character dying brought Jason's character into reality. Milan. Milan. Mm. Fucking Milan was the sharp... Like, he was the sharpest hit man to me ever. The way he... Took them to making cats out when mm-hmm. when he was, uh, a step Tariq was in the car yep. and the ghost stood there and like he was always right there. The ghost tried to fire him. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. He revealed himself. Exactly. When Holly called the Jamaicans mm-hmm. and then the Jamaicans showed yeah. up and then Milan was one step ahead, so mm-hmm. Tommy was killing Holly for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was all that same bit. But that led your ass a trip to shy. I know. And that's right. when you got to see who the plug was really, really when your ass was almost in that ditch. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? So let's talk about that <laughs> that situation right there in that scene. Um, Jason. Um, well, ironically enough, that was my first day on set where we meet in, in the introduction. And um, so for me, it was one of those daunting tasks of coming onto a new show. Uh, but Joe was, was amazing. And, and same with... Um, our, our showrunner, uh, director Gary Lennon, um, was great. And then we just, we talked about the scene literally in the shuttle. I remember that. And we went over it a little bit and then we went and shot it. And um, it was great. It was fun. I didn't think you was, I didn't think you was coming back. Oh, when, that, when, they, when they dug the grave? Yeah. He was like, Pata! <laughs> I was like, he, come on. He, he, I, Tommy he, was just like, look, what if you're going to kill me? Kill me already. I'm exhausted. You had me in a trunk. Fuck out of here with this nonsense. Why you gotta wait so long? You're gonna do it, you're gonna do it. That's, I mean, to me, that was Tommy's perspective was he was just like, he was over it. Like, look, man, you know right from wrong. You don't see this shit. I can do it. But then you have to Well, that's where Jason, what I liked about that was that he took out his own guy. Without mm. a blink of an eye, he's done. All mm-hmm. right. Hey, let's go. You did go. it at the top of this season too, and you mm-hmm. put the guy in the car and you killed him. Oh, you, 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 this. you, you, My boy, you, but hey, he I was a he was a, a stunt dummy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> he was a crash <laughs> dummy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 he was a crash <laughs> dummy. You know what I'm saying? Well, had this had to, Jason had to make sure that Ghost was out there or not. He wanted to make sure, so he sacrificed one of his own men. But mm. he's all about business. Jason, at the end of the day, is all about business. Nah, yeah, he's about his shit, man. Like yeah. you. I mean, they was trying to get Tariq back. You took the fucking money. Like, you was just on some, like, some gorilla. But Jason, <laughs> didn't, I didn't take all of it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I only took half. You only Let's took half that. that. Yeah. You only took That's half good. that. Half. You only <laughs> took half that caused fucking Vincent to use a, 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 a what is it, a pillowcase full of soda cans on top oh, yeah. No, oranges. Oranges? Like, soda what was it? cans, like, he wouldn't have like, made it like, out. What was it? He used the oranges. Like, I ain't never seen, he did some old school shit. Like, <laughs> you understand? Now, that's where your, that's where your character kind of took a turn for the, okay, he's with the shits. But then you were still kind of angry at Tommy from that was, what, your cousin? 
or your nephew that got killed. The first, but Tommy first came to y'all. You lost a family member. Or, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit. Like, I know this whole shit. Like, yeah. this godson was trying to be about it. Exactly. Right. There it goes. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. And he lost. He got so you got Carmine killed. You uh, Carmine, uh, and you uh, always kind of held that. Yeah. It was you know? always something that weighed on me. I think I think Vincent was waiting for the right moment to get maybe revenge down the line. You know, he's Sicilian, so it's a long game. And that felt like you was really, like, you was, it was... It was like a, a a scheme, a money scheme with Tariq and you, but you kind of was on some, you know what, it's a scheme, but fuck you. I'm going to whip yeah. your ass. I'm going to kill you later on, but I'm going to use you to get this money. As Once well. he, I learned that he was double crossing me because I, Vincent opened himself up to do business with this young man, you know? Mm -hmm. So he was willing to have a good partnership. But once he found out that he was getting double crossed, then that's it. The gloves were off. Everybody dies. Yeah. Everybody dies. Everybody dies. What's that? <laughs> Bring out the fruit. Yeah, that's it. Bring out the so fruit. Now, I'm going to slide past the spanky. Oh, all right. Right? Because go. <laughs> I got to get the, the real fucking the, the goat last. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you and your man, too big. Mm -hmm. You understand? Like, y'all seem like y'all was partners from the street and everything, y'all. Tommy crew. Right. But Y'all kind of got your own agenda too. Like, right. You understand, you understand yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, y'all got your little own agenda. Like, almost like, yeah, we running with them for now, but you understand? Once we get up, it's almost like. I mean, it, Spanky and Two Bit both are opportunists, if you, you know, if you mm -hmm. look at it. But I mean, even with Dre, it was like. They came from Dre's crew, right? We came from Dre's crew, but it was like, Dre, you, you slipped out on us to mess with ghosts like we ain't trying to we wasn't really trying to mess with ghosts unless you're trying to give up that money so it's just like we're opportunists but at the same time it was a it was a trueness in tommy that uh as far as my you know as far as the backstory that i did for spanky it was a trueness in tommy that made spanky uh um uh, actually uh dedicated and, and, and trust in tommy for a long time you know what i mean it was just like it was just something about it even though i'm an opportunist it was just like ah nah tommy look look because out of you two guys it, you never saw tommy as an adversary you saw him as an accomplice exactly so yeah so. i always saw him as i always saw him as the the plug i always saw him as somebody that i wanted to well not i but spanky wanted to do business with mm -hmm. it's like yo no bro like tommy is the one because even in um episode uh 607 you see Two bit want to just kill this and do this, and I'm like, nah. Like, first of all, you messed up when you messed up with Dre. You shot him. You know, you bust off prematurely, like you know, certain, a lot of thugs do. But Spanky is is thinking all the time. He's calculating. You, know? you, you see what I'm saying? You are the voice of reason, but with a comical way. Like even at the, <laughs> the, the, the end, like like even when you told Two Bit, like 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 you're fine. You was like, I'm fired too. Like right. you're like you're like me too. Like right. you know what I'm saying? Like like. Fuck, I ain't do that. Exactly. But then you were still like, yo, like, Adam and Eve you're gonna see, shit. like, <laughs> nah, because it's like, it's like, look, Spanky sees it, it, like, first of all, he got four eyes, so he sees everything. <laughs> <laughs> he sees the whole perspective, so it's like, it's like, no, 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 Tommy, two bit worse about right now because you're dealing with your girl and you're dealing with your pride. Like right now, you're not being conscious. You're not being reasonable like exactly. jason is the plug listen we need to get the money Tariq then fuck this up you know what i mean it's all of this stuff was happening and i'm trying to keep it calm and get us into a, a place where we could get rid of dre like that's what we really want to do dre we is really the biggest get rid of dre. Piece you know what i'm saying yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, man, my bad. Fuck it, yeah, Dre is fucking. Yeah. Well, we don't want to get rid of Rotimi, though, but we want to get rid no, of Rotimi. No, I get it. I'm just trying to make right, sure right. I keep so, up. So, you know, so it. I was just uh, always plotting yeah, and, and just right. always know. I never wanted to be, the, the Spanky never wanted to be the leader. He just wanted to be right up there, but, one, I mean, uh, you the two voice or three. Reason. Yeah, even even when he grabbed uh, uh, Tommy's girl, he was like, yo, nigga, what the fuck you doing there? And then, oh, man, R.I.P. to Grim, man. I like Grim. He was like, he was somebody like, big Grim is man. R.I.P. Yeah, man, like, like you understand? Like, he was like yeah, the, the he was like a general man. giant, like, like you yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like a general giant, man. He Dre's terrible though. Dre's Dre's Dre killed uh, a father. Uh, the the preacher, uh, yeah, yeah, he chill. Callahan, you know what I'm saying? He, come out of Callahan, he he stabbed up my man, just trying to get his money on the street right there in front Every, of Alfonso. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But he a rat at the same time. 
So, so, <laughs> yeah. so wait, wait, hold on for a second. Torch, there you got go. that joint ready? All right, we're going to get to the joint right, right back. That played uh, on the show. And we're going to come back and talk to Cooper Sacks. Yeah. Sheesh. Shade 45. Warning, 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 warning. The Drama King is in the building. The Drama King is in the building.